Good afternoon. Um, so I received a, a word from the Lord today. Uh, this is December 13th, 2023 at approximately 1030 this morning. As always, I'm going to encourage you. Don't take my word for it. Take it back to the Lord in your own personal prayer time. Meditate on his holy word. Ask him to speak to you there. Take it back to him in prayer. Ask him to confirm or deny whether this word came from his Holy Spirit. And um, also just to elaborate on this word or give you any kind of um, not just confirmation, but clarification as to how this applies to you and what to do next. Uh, that being said, this is what the Lord said. Saints of God, now is the time to press in. Remove every distraction. Cast down any idols. Seek first, and he emphasized that part, the kingdom and all else will be added. We are entering a time of sifting. The wheat and the chaff are being separated. The start of the new year will be a time of exposure. Judgment starts at the house of God. It has already begun. Scandals will be made public. Well-known preachers and evangelists living double lives will be brought out in the open. Nothing is concealed or hidden from the all-seeing eyes of the Lord thy God. Congregations who have been following a doctrine of demons will scatter. Those teaching a gospel that is no gospel at all but a gospel of works will be torn from the pulpit. Those who have called themselves to ministry but were never called by God will be exposed for the frauds they are. Those pretending to walk in the anointing but are really operating through spirits of witchcraft and divination will be exposed and judged accordingly. People in positions of great power and influence will be shamed publicly. He emphasized that part for what they have done in secret, no matter how calculated they have been, no matter how careful, no matter how deep they think they buried the evidence, what has been done in the dark will come to the light. Those who have no fear of me will soon know I am God and there is no other. I kill and I make alive. I promote and exalt. I tear down kings and princes from their high places. I give and I take away. I can bring rest to a whole nation or calamity. It is I who do these things. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the I am that I am. I will do as I have said. It will not tarry. Wait for it. It shall surely come. I am not a man that I should lie. Not a single word of this prophecy will fall to the ground. I, the Lord, have spoken. He wants me to share with you uh, the following confirmations. I am going to be reading from the New King James Version. Um, so the first one is going to be Jeremiah 48, chapter 48, verses 38 to 39 so bear with me just a second while i turn to that as jeremiah 48 verses 38 to 39 a general lamentation on all the housetops of moab and in its streets for i have broken moab like a vessel in which is no pleasure says the lord they shall wail how she is broken down, how Moab has turned her back with shame. So Moab shall be a derision and a dismay to all those about her. The next confirmation is going to be Psalm 12, verses 1 to 5. And again, just bear with me while I turn to that. And again, that's Psalm chapter 12, verses 1 to 5. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceases, for the faithful disappear from among the sons of men. They speak idly, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips and the tongues that speak proud things, 
who have said with our tongue we will prevail our lips are our own who is lord over us for the oppression of the poor for the sighing of the needy now i will arise says the lord i will set him in the safety for which he yearns the next one is going to be ezekiel that's ezekiel chapter 31 7 to 11 Again, this is the New King James Version. We're going to Ezekiel chapter 31, 7 to 11. For the next confirmation. Thus it was beautiful in greatness and in the length of its branches because its roots reached to abundant waters. The cedars in the garden of God could not hide it. The fir trees were not like its boughs, and the chestnut trees were not like its branches. No tree in the garden of God was like it in beauty. I made it beautiful with a multitude of branches so that all the trees of Eden envied it that were in the garden of God. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have increased in height and it set its top among the thick bows and its heart was lifted up in its height. Therefore, I will deliver it into the hand of the mighty one of the nations and he shall surely deal with it. I have driven it out for its wickedness. Now we're going to go back to psalm 14 for the next confirmation psalm 14 this is going to be uh verses one through four the fool has said in his heart there is no god they are corrupt they have done abominable works there is none who does good the lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand who seek god they have all turned aside. They have together become corrupt. There is none who does good. No, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call on the Lord? And the very last confirmation was John 11.35. Jesus wept. <clears throat> 